follow up to that then because if we're talking about the squeaky wheel aspect of, of what's right, we're talking about something so fundamental here. Um, presumably, this audience is in agreement. Um, that investigations within your own office should say, well, let's see what our legis what our district actually, where they fell in this in this survey. Because to me it just seems forgive me, but irresponsible to leave it that to leave it that um, well the survey doesn't speak to my district because that's just sort of like a vacant statement. It's not supported if you don't look into it. And that's just that's just my opinion now know where we are. Um, pushing the bill through I'm wholly ignorant in regards to like the civic process, but I just wanted to put that out there and ask how that discussion was going. Thank you again for being here. Solely because of their sexual orientation. 
Uh, I think when that decision came down, uh, it was very clear to uh, uh, the people in the legal community that this was not a court that would be going to be sympathetic to a sense that that's narrow to us. Yeah, I guess I would just add that, just thinking of the, the state court cases, the high court cases in those states that have required <coughs> equality is constitutionally required on the state constitutional level, they're very split. You know, the courts were very split in all of those cases. And so I think that, um, I just think that, you know, the courts are split. We were talking about getting four votes, make, you know, five votes maybe, on a high court. So I mean, I, I, I always get the sense that the courts don't really want to be dealing with that issue. One, one exception to that, uh, both in terms of question of unanimity and on the previous question about Rhode Island and how important was, is Iowa. Uh, I think you know, more important than Rhode Island was Iowa uh, deciding that uh, uh, same-sex marriage had to be recognized. And that, as I recall, was a unanimous decision. Um, so um, for me, that is probably the most, of all the, the, the uh, courts that have ruled on, I think Iowa, the one that is set out for the most shock rates. Um, because I don't think people know that these conferences in Florida or Texas are all those people in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty even split some contention across the board uh, in Rhode Island on this issue. 